This is Kevin King with Pinehurst Websites and uh, we're going to be using an app to add unlimited product options on an item. Uh, within Shopify you can have up to 100 variants on an item but if you're going to go over that 100 variants you're going to need an app to add that functionality and that will allow you to add as many options as you want on a product. So um, we have already set up some options on here and it's size. So we're going to have these six different variants under size. And if we look at the product over here uh, within Shopify, we're going to see the variants and they all have different prices. But now we have to add the combination of the letters that the customer is going to want. And we're going to use an app to achieve that. And I just have another tab open and it has my apps right here and we're going to use product options by bold and that's by bold apps so um, what we're going to do is we're going to create these options here and we can apply those uh, to as many products as we want so I'm going to go ahead and just create the options and in this case we're going to have um, three different initials and we're going to have the same options for each um, for each one so we're going to just create the first initial. And that's going to be the name of our, this is an internal name. It doesn't have to be the same as the public name. But we're going to just make it the same. And this is just going to be a drop down. That's how we're going to do it. And then we just put in our values. So you would put in your value for each one. And uh, in this case, it's not going to affect uh, the pricing. So you're just going to simply go A, B, and all the way down through all 26 of your letters. To speed it up, I went ahead and put in all the options, and you can see that We've got A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, and of course it goes all the way down to X, Y, and Z. So this is the first initial that will go in for the monogram. So um, once you have all those options, you just click Finish and Save. So notice after the last one uh, I had added uh, this one. You have to add the option to get this last one. So right here when it said add option, I click that. So you're just going to have an empty space after the last one. So go ahead and finish and save. And now you're going to have that along with, I have other options in here as well. So all your options are here. And I'll go ahead and make the second initial, third initial, and fourth initial. And then we'll move on to the next step. So when you're doing something like a monogram, you also have the option to go into duplicate this one. So since this is going to be the same except for the title, all we need to do is create a copy by clicking that button right there. And as you can see, now we have a copy here. So now we can go in and we can simply edit the title of this to make this the center initial for the monogram. So if we just click on edit, we can just change the name. And it's just going to be center initial. Everything else is going to be the same. And once we have that all done, we just hit finish and save. And we can do the same thing for the final initial. So we're simply going to uh, create a copy here. And we're going to go in and we're going to edit this. And this one's going to be last initial. And once we have that, we can just go in and we can hit finish and save. So now we have our three different options that we're going to want on a particular set of products. So now what we want to do is we want to take these options and relate them to a product or a group of products. So what we want to do is from the options, we can go to this main menu and hit the home button on the top here. And then we're going to create a product relationship right here. And if we want to look at existing relationships, we can go here. But we're going to create a new one. So this one will be just called monogram. And we may have several types of monogram. So let's call this um, three-letter monogram. And 
and we just select the options that we want to have available. We're going to have the first initial, then we're going to add. The next one is going to be center initial. As we see, it's adding it down here. And then finally, the last initial. And then we have these are the options that will come up on this product. So now we can either select the product uh, directly or we can select it by a collection. So if we have a monogram collection that we knew that these were all three letters, we could do that. But we don't actually, not all of the monogram items will have three letters. So we're going to probably bring up this just to search it and we'll specifically search the items that we want. So we know that this item is 40253. We could search it by SKU or we could search it by name. Let's just bring up this one item here. I believe it's this one right here. And this one right here are the three letters. And uh, we can just go through and select all the ones that apply, or we could do it by a smart collection if we knew uh, exactly what they were. So we're just going to do it on this, these two particular items for right now. So since we have these selected, we'll just click on Create, and then it's going to take a couple minutes to show this on the site. So when we go to our products on the site, we can see that this uh, has had the product options added to it. So because this is actually directly in Shopify, uh, this variant already has one option, but now we have the three additional options where we can add our monograms. Uh, so when we add this to the cart and we go to our orders, we'll actually see all of the product options that the customer uh, selected within orders within Shopify. So that's how you use the product options app. And then the other thing you can do is you can tag items uh, so that you can bring in an entire smart collection and add this option to them in bulk. Let's go ahead and just take a quick look at some of the products. So if we just went in and we tag these items with what we want uh, them to be in a smart collection with. So we're just going to take the ones that we know are three letter monograms. That's enough for now. And then we can just, in bulk, we can add tags and we'll just call this these are case sensitive so it's got to be the tags have to be exactly when you're making a smart collection so I'm just going to uh, add the tag three letter monograms to all of these items so now I'm going to quickly make a collection called three-letter monograms, add a collection, and I'm going to do product tag is equal to three-letter monograms, and we'll save, and we'll see that these items, because there's a smart collection, are automatically have these three-letter monogram items in here. So if we were using this with the app, we can go and we can edit this. And we can just go to, oops, I don't want to change that. We can go down to our products. If we view here, this will show us the products that are currently in this collection. So just by clicking this. But if we click here, we can pull up this entire three letter monogram collection, search it and then we can just uh, select all results and now they're all in that collection as well so all of those will have the product options so that's just an easy way to add uh, 
these product options in bulk. So if you have a smart collection, you can just put those product options on a large group of products very simply. Hope this was helpful. You can find out more uh, about bold apps and also about product options by clicking on pinehurstwebsites.com. There's a link in this video about um, how to use product options or to get some of the different um, apps from bold apps. Thanks for tuning in to Pinehurst Websites.